Index numbers is what we live, what we aspire, and what is all the economy all about. These are the topics that we are going to see today. We are going to see an introduction of the index number. It's a statistical tool or a device that is used for measuring the changes. So price index number measures and permits a comparison of price of certain goods. There are two methods of constructing an index number. Good morning and welcome to the first session of chapter 8, Index Numbers in Economics. This is an interesting chapter because index numbers is what we live, what we aspire and what is all the economy all about. Every day in economics, you would have heard about the various events that happen across the nation. It might be about the markets, it might be about the banks, it might be about the consumer or it might be about the retail process that's going on. All these factors, all these numbers are based on the index altogether. So this lesson is primarily about understanding the economy on a closer outlook. So let's go quickly and try to understand what are the different factors that govern the economy in terms of index numbers. So quickly moving forward. These are the topics that we are going to see today. We are going to see an introduction of the index number, the construction of index number. Not to worry, this has not got too much of mathematical process. It's just a simple way of understanding the index number. So construction of index number is going to be interesting. We have a simple aggregate index. So we are going to learn about it, a new term, interesting one too. And a weighted aggregate index, a mandatory process through which how we are going to see the prices attract and how the prices are being decided in the economy. So moving forward, let's first try to understand what is this index numbers is all about. It's a statistical tool or a device that is used for measuring the changes in the magnitude of a group related variables. So I want you to understand the couple of words that will really make a difference for you in terms of understanding. Why? Because index number is not like any other statistical tool like an arithmetic mean, median, mode where you're just going to understand it from a one standpoint. But this has got a lot of factors. Why? Because it's going to understand, it's going to go deep in terms of understanding the magnitude, the impact that it has in terms of economic value. So that's why it is going to talk about the magnitude of a group of related variables. So when I use the word related variables, there are a lot of common factors that you might need to understand in terms of economics. So when I say financial markets, it is not just about the banks. It is not just about the commercial institution. There are several factors. So similarly, when I say the related Related factors, every sector has got some or the other related variables that will make a difference to the economy. So index number is going to measure that difference. Index number is going to tell you the impact of that sector towards the economy altogether. Secondly, it represents a general trend of diverging ratios from which it is calculated. So now we want to know the trend. This word trend is quite an interesting word in economics, in business altogether. Many people ask you this question, what is the trend today? What is the trend in the mobile that we use? What is the trend in the car we purchase? What kind of house do we live in? What kind of lifestyle trend that is going on? So everywhere the word trend is an interesting, important and a very, very important question. Why? Because you know you, you try to get yourself into it, trying to understand that you are moving with the society, you are moving with the system altogether. So that's why the index number is also something that will tell you the trend of that particular sector. Suppose you are concentrating on the automotive sector, you are concentrating on the banking sector, you are concentrating on a manufacturing sector or you are concentrating on insurance sector, the trend of that sector needs to be understood as an economist, 
as a businessman, as a trader. Why? Because then only you will be able to flow with the business and make your profits. So that is why index number will be of a great help to you to make you understand whether the decision taken by you in that particular sector, in that particular series is good or not. So it is a trend indicator. This fact has to be remembered by us. Next, it's a measure of the average change in group to the related variable over different situation or I would rather like to simplify it and say to you in the sense now when we're going to talk about the average change that there are many situations in which economy and the economics are being studied. When I talk about economy as a whole, there are multiple factors. Why? Because for a country like India, which is so diversified, there are many factors, I would say n number of factors that actually matter. But when you are studying economics, there is particular areas, there are particular chapters, there are particular instances where index number will be incurred, will be called for. So now this is a measure of average where the change in a group. So you're going to measure the change in a group. That is very, very important where you would see it under different situations. Today, when you look into the market, the scenario is different. Tomorrow, when you start looking at, there might be another instance altogether. So all in the factor of measuring the average, index number will be a very great help for you. Comparison, like categories of persons, schools, hospitals. Nowadays, this word comparison is very, very important for all of us. Why? Because comparisons will help us to understand how one is performing over the other. So the word comparison, please don't take it on a negative sense. It is on a positive scenario. In economics, we compare data. We are not here to compete on data, but we are here to compare the data because comparison tells us how you can fare in the competition. It tells you the progressive index. It tells you how one is performing better than the other. So for example, any sector you take, education, or you take in terms of manufacturing, banking, or you're going to talk about automotive, chemical sector, you're going to talk about components, any kind of sector, what is the most important thing is that how A performs better than B or B performs better than C. So the comparison factor of understanding performance can be done using the index number. The next one, index number also measures the changes in value of variables such as prices, specified commodities in production. We need to understand one of the biggest market in India is the commodity market. This market will actually make you understand that every single product other than humans are tradable. So any product you take, be it rice, be it wheat, be it zinc, be it calcium or it being any kind of product, a pepper, salt, whatever is that, they are all tradable under the commodity exchange. Now, for every commodity in the market, including gold, including silver or any precious metal, there is a price. So the price is what determines the trend. The price is what determines the demand factor altogether. So to measure that change, to measure that price, to understand what is the trend that goes on, how the price needs to move, how the commodity is moving, how, what is the demand factor, what is the supply factor, index number will definitely play a pivotal role there. It plays a very, very major role. Why? Because it measures the changes. It tells you the price of rice, the price of coffee, the price of tea, the price of cardamom. You take any single product, it will be able to tell you the factor that how the changes are being done and how the change has been measured on a daily basis. So that is why index number will definitely become a very, very important and interesting tool for any economist in this world because he will be able to understand the change factors very, very clearly. So that is why index number becomes a very interesting topic for us today to learn and to understand. Now, moving forward. There are other factors where I want to bring in the most important factor for today, the word called as price index. So price index number measures and permits a comparison of price of certain goods. The most interesting price that anybody would like to compare on a daily basis is gold. Every day when you open the newspaper, when you go through the news channels, when you watch 
televisions, when you watch your social apps and everywhere, somewhere down the lane, the word gold and the gold rate is so common. People are attracted. People want to know the rate, whether you're going to buy gold or whether you're going to sell gold or you're just going to be an onlooker to it. Gold does make a matter of difference in the economy every day. So when I'm going to measure the price of gold on a daily basis, Again, it is done on a weighted index average. So there is a gold council, there is an index value for it. The gold is measured on a particular commodity exchange value and everyday people keep tracking the price of this precious metal. So price number index or the price index itself matters a lot in terms of the economy. Similarly, quantity index that measures the changes in physical volume of production. Just to give you an interesting example, a simple example here. The last four or five months, the production range has come down because of the pandemic, because of the situations of COVID-19. But there was a recent report that happened in this month where people were talking about the bounce back, the coming back of automobile sector. The last four months, they did not have any sales at all due to the shutdown that happened in the economy. Today, if you start seeing the automotive sector has again made a comeback. They have started producing new mobiles. They have started producing new automobiles altogether. New versions are landing up. Every day, you would see that there are a hell lot of examples or new models which are coming out in terms of the market altogether. Now, every single company wants to come back, wants to show that they are producing large numbers of automobiles. So they want to move the market. They want to go and tell everybody, quantitatively, we are increasing our production. We are not just saying it in terms of words, but we are saying it in terms of numbers. So that's where the quantity index will matter a lot. Every day when you see that there is a change in the industrial production index altogether, you will be able to understand the quantity index will play a massive role in terms of telling you how the numbers are changing, why the numbers are changing and what it matters to the economy at the most. Next, though the price index is more widely used Definitely, yes, because price matters to you as a consumer, as to me as a consumer, definitely. But there are different levels of indicator, which is also important, which is also used in the part of production. Production index is also one of the most widely talked about index number in the economy. So, you know, on the whole, I would just like to tell you in short that index number is going to be the lifeline of any economy. That is going to measure the positivity and the negativity, the trend of the economy, and it's going to tell you where we are heading towards altogether. So moving forward, construction of an index number. Now we are going to construct an index number. Quite interesting the moment when I say that word construction, are we going to do something new? Are we going to build something new? Are we going to develop a new ideology altogether? Definitely yes. Why? Because here if you see, we are going to talk about the measurement. We are going to see the changes, how it's going to happen. There are two methods of constructing an index number. It can be done by an aggregate method. That's quite simple that you are seeing here and by the averaging relatives. Either you're using an aggregation, when I use the word aggregation, that means on a consolidating basis, or you're going to average the related variables put together so that you are able to create or you are able to construct an index number altogether. So now, what is important for us in this slide to learn is that index number itself is a consolidated view. It is not an individual view. So when you say index, of automobiles or index of hospitals or education, pharma, healthcare, whichever index you are looking into in terms of the market, in terms of the economy, it is going to provide you a consolidated view. It is going to provide you a picture where you will be able to see it as a bird's eye view in terms from a 50,000 feet. So that the index number is going to consolidate the entire sector and tell you. So you are going to use an either an aggregate method or you might be using an average method to arrive at the particular value. Now, moving forward, simple aggregate price index. So let us start with the aggregate values and the aggregate methodology altogether. Let us try to understand how interesting it is to do. The formula for the simple aggregate price index is given there. It is denoted by summation of P1 divided by summation of P0 
into 100. This is the formula that you need to keep in your mind. Summation of P1 divided by summation of P0 into 100. Now, what is that P1 and P0 that we are going to talk about? P1 and P0 will indicate the current and the base here. So that's what I'm trying to talk about. P1 will talk about the current period and P0 will talk about the base period. So for example, I am going to talk about a comparison between 2018 and 2020. I'm going to take two years to compare and understand. The current year will be 2020. The base year will be 2018. So I'm going to compare in terms of the base versus the current year. So a simple aggregate which will be able to make you understand what has been the change in terms of the price index value altogether. This is a very, very simple comparison. Why this is used is that people always want to compare, people want to understand what has been happening over the past year. Today, if you go back and if you understand, people say that the value of land has increased, the value of land has decreased, or the value of a variable has increased or decreased. The reason factors is that they tend to compare it with the previous year. Now, for example, the cost of rice might be 50 rupees in 2018, but the cost of rice 1 kg in the year 2020 might have grown up to 70 rupees 1 kg. So there is a change. Where is this 20 rupees coming up? It is not just the numerical value that we are going to talk about, but it has some importance. It has some factors that we need to understand that we need to go with. So that is why I would say that the simple aggregate price index will be able to compare current year over the base year and then we can start moving forward. Now, the next one, the weighted aggregate price index. What is the formula that is going to be given here? It's the same kind, only thing is that we are going to now include the quantity factor. So summation P1 Q0 divided by summation P0 Q0 into 100. This is the formula that we are going to use for your weighted aggregate index. Quite simple, interesting to understand why because you know P1 stands for current year, P0 stands for the price at the base year. Q0 will be the price in terms of the base and here again the Q0 factor that we are going to take. So this will be able to tell you the weighted aggregate factor altogether when the relative importance of an item. So the price of the same product last year for the same amount of quantity, how does it differ from the current year? That can be understood by the weighted aggregate method. So the weighted aggregate method is definitely of high importance. Why? Because for anybody who is involving in commodity trading, who is involved in retail bulk trading altogether, will try to understand the weighted aggregate method. Now, for example, when you are buying it in quintals or when you are buying it in tons, all those factor, then it will matter because the same price but at a different weightage altogether. For the same price, you might get more. For the same price, you might get less. At that point of time, weighted aggregate index matters a lot and it tells you how the economy has been doing. Moving forward, with this, we come to the conclusion for today's session. I hope and believe the session was highly informative, educative and interesting. In the next session, we are going to talk about the different factors of index number and the problems that are involved with it. And then we are going to develop some problems. We are going to understand what are the challenges in terms of the index number. Until then, thank you and goodbye from me. Stay tuned, stay blessed and stay enlightened forever. Thank you once again.